Hi everyone! I would like to share with you a little layout pack I created for the DV team. It's an uh, opt-in page uh, layout uh, with nice floating images on the side. So in this video I would like to show you how uh, to recreate this in DV. Hi, my name is Anya and my goal here is to help you build beautiful websites. So in this short video, I'm going to show you how to create this nice floating uh, images effect uh, in Divi. Uh, we are going to use a tiny bit of CSS and the Divi Builder to achieve that. So here we are in the newly created page. I'm going to add a two column uh, row in the first section. And then on the right uh, side, let's just add some, uh, some text. So we have some content here, but we're going to focus on this left uh, column here. I'm going to use three different images. The first one would be the image on the left. The second one would be the right one, but first let's, uh, let's edit it a bit. So in the design section, I'm going to make sure that it's, it's not taking the uh, full width of the column. Let's make it maybe 40% wide or maybe 50. They will overlap so it should work fine. And um, I will align it to the left side. Now just so we can see it better I'm going to um, well add some border radius but to see it better I'm going to add some nice shadow. Not so strong. Just delicate, delicate effect. Okay, great. Now the second image would be the uh, left side. Uh, sorry, right side. And the last one is the image that's going to be in the middle, so our uh, cover image. Okay, and the first two are going to use the absolute position. So if I go here in the advanced tab, position, absolute, it got hidden behind the, the second one, but that's okay. Now the second one can also be positioned absolutely, but on the right uh, side. And our cover image, let's make it aligned to the, um, to the center. And we can make it a bit bigger. Okay, that's a great start. So the last one is not positioned absolutely. So because we don't want the height of the column to change. So this is a great start. And now we only need to um, add some CSS to animate uh, the, these images. So we need to uh, target them with a CSS class. When the module is positioned absolutely, it's sometimes difficult to access the module settings. We can use the layers panel to do that. So go to layer that opens the layers panel and I can, I have my, uh, all the modules listed here um, in a nice um, list. So I can go into the left image settings in the advanced tab. Let's add a CSS class of DL floating. I will copy it and add it to all the images. Oh, 
Okay, now um, for our custom CSS, I can add it, uh, well, in different places in DV, but let's add it to the page settings, custom CSS uh, box here. So first let's define our animation. I will call the animation um, floating. So to, uh, to define it, we have to define the uh, keyframes of the animation. So um, and then curly brackets. And now we have to um, define different steps of the animation. So at the beginning at 0% uh, and at 50% uh, and then 100% we can do different uh, different uh, transitions, different settings. Okay, that is very annoying. <laughs> but don't worry about these errors. It's all fine. It will be um, it will be gone once we're done. So uh, I'm going to use the transform property to uh, change the position of image during the animation. So at the beginning, the transform would be uh, zero. So transform translate, let's use translate um, Y. So it's uh, translated with the Y axis and zero at first and the last step would be the same so at 100% it would also be zero but at 50% we can move it by 15 pixels okay so hopefully oh uh, we have to define the name oh that should fix the errors okay that was my bad so there we uh, there we go Keyframes of the animation name floating are no transformation at the 0%, no transformation at the end, and in the middle it would, mo it would move by 15 pixels, um, in this case, to the top. And now our DL floating element can use this animation. So animation floating. And so the, it's a shorthand animation uh, name, animation duration. So let's say seven seconds. It will take three and a half seconds to get to move the 15 pixels up and then three and a half seconds to move it down. So very slow animation for the slow floating effect. Animation easing function, so easing out, and then animation iteration count. So in our case, it will be infinite. We want this to float, well, forever. So that's the animation. And as you can see, it already uh, works, but they all float in the same direction. So in order to uh, differentiate these images in between, we will use additional CSS class. So DL floating one, and we can change the animation delay to negative, uh, sorry, delay, negative val value like minus three point five five seconds. Mm floating. Okay, and now this CSS class can be added to one of the images. We can use multiple CSS classes here if it's separated by a space symbol. And now this image floats in an opposite uh, direction. So that's uh, lovely. And we can do uh, another CSS class for the right hand image let's do floating two and in the css we'll do a different delay 
you can play with the values and um, let's do 4.5 this is the second one right so it's floating a bit differently and now we can also um, add some margin to to these images so they are a bit further down the page so um, spacing and top margin like this and to the right one as well maybe something like this or maybe even less lovely so uh, hopefully that was clear you can copy all the css i use uh, on my blog post and also download uh, the full layout with the uh, lead, um, with the opt-in page and then the confirmation page uh, and download page Thank you so much for watching. I hope that was helpful. Please let me know in the comments and also feel free to uh, check my blog post uh, where you can download this layout uh, as a JSON file so you don't need to recreate it yourself. And I'll see you next time.